just want to show y'all y'all know about that yesterday but as you see engine ain't there that's until now of course you see i still gotta finish painting this side but show y'all does he stuck 300 getting ready to put it up in there i'll probably have to take this manifold back off cause that looked like it might hang the tree so i can't you know better get it up there but that's where it's going to go until i get the money up to get this rebuilt because i gotta get the money up to finish rebuilding that and so yeah got it all done get it ready pretty much i want that to you know fall yeah But yeah, like I said, I don't believe this transmission is going to work on this motor. And it's definitely going to work with this big flywheel. So I might be on the lookout for a good transmission that's the same length as that. That's why I ain't got to worry about the dry shaft problem. Like I had to figure out with my dad's van, but got that situated, you know. And then I had to get a good torque converter. So, either way, car still ain't going to be driving under its own power yet until I get a transmission. Unless I can get at least four boats to line up, you know. Four will hold it for the time being, I guess. You know, be a little sketchy, but as long as a man takes it easy and don't, you know, just log hog it, might make it work. But who knows? I definitely won't be able to use this flywheel, I know that. So, yeah, I took my new carburetor off so I don't, didn't fuck it up in the process of uh, moving it. So I'm going to have to put that back on so nothing gets down in the intake. You see. So, yeah. I'm about to do that. But yeah, I just want to do an update on it. I got to get these this manifold off this ram horn so I can paint it and put this new hardware on it you know and then this side will be pretty much done of course I still gotta get an oil filter and I see I gotta get an oil pan gaskets leaking on this side that side ain't but this side is so I need an oil pan gasket ain't a big deal but you know and I still gotta make motor mounts cause like I said it won't work I figure I would and instead of cutting these off I'm gonna take and make a thing come from this up to the engine that's why I mean ain't gonna have no rubber unless I put rubber in between it somehow that's where I take the vibration out but I ain't worried about the vibration really cause that engine runs pretty smooth there's a few seconds I had it running so now I don't want to cut that because the original engine is going to be coming back in here once I get it rebuilt it might be a while but it's going to go back in here so I was going to take that motor mount off that engine and see if I can't flop it around but I don't think the boat hose is going to line up I might still try it I don't know but if I could get the boat hose line up then I can use that engine mount depending on how far this engine sets down in there. Because this got a big oil pan compared to that 300. It's like, you know, it's like a pancake up here in the front. And it goes like that all the way to about right here. And then it just drops. And it's still a little bit shorter than this one. On the back side, so. On a little bit of dilemma, but I'll figure it out. I just want to get the car running and driving. Might be a while, but once I get this engine in it, I'm gonna try to get the car scooted around, put the S in in here. That's way I can have the front end sticking out, cause it's I, while that car is out, I'm gonna finish building this spot over it. That's why. It won't get rained on the mountain, and I'll be walk. I'll be able to walk it, even if it's in the rain. 
But that is a little bit of a dilemma. Oh yeah, I want to show y'all something else too. I don't know if I showed y'all not yet. Oh well, just throw it down. Got my turn signal thing mounted. I just got to hook up wires since uh, I got by guts for this. And, but it upgraded. I'm going to have flashers. So, like I said, I won't be able to get to this one vent. That's for the driver's side anyway, down here on the floor. I don't really care about those anyway. It's been used. See? Look, right down there in the floor, just got the ankle vent. But, anywho, and of course I still gotta get a steering gear box for this. But if y'all want to know the part number, so you can order you one of those, there it is. And the wiring diagram, flip it around here so y'all can see, is right there so y'all can know what goes where. And the clamp will come with it. If the steering comes this big, it ain't gonna work. You have to get you another clamp. So, yeah. There's an update on the car so far. Uh, I got the front brake shoes off of on that side. And I'm gonna have to put some kind of spacers in behind the wheels so it can roll cause, uh, as you can see, it's rubbing. right there it's kind of loving so it's got enough space on these lug nuts I can you know put washers or something in behind it but yeah next step is start cleaning this engine bay out real good getting it prepped for paint and of course I gotta finish painting this engine and I gotta pull this all this back off so I could get this off and paint it and then it'll be set, be ready. But there's an update. Love y'all. Y'all stay safe and sexy out there and I'll see you in the next video.